Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As talk show hosts, our job is to help our viewers get to know our guests a little bit better. But what we've discovered is that our fans want to get to know us a little yes. bit better. Yes, so we asked you what questions you had for us and you did not disappoint us. You guys had so many questions <laughs> that we decided to just do a whole segment called Ask the Sisters. Yes, and while we'd love to answer every question, we only have time for a fruit. Three me. Oh my God. You are on the scene. <laughs> Put me on the program. Always. <laughs> well, anyway, our first question is from Tanya Pollard, and she asks, I, she said, I love each of you, but at Trina, will Sister Circle televise your wedding? Ooh, Ooh honey. Well, I tell you what, they'll definitely be there. Yes, I yes, will. Uh, but we all know I'm contracted with a whole other television yes, show. Yes, you so are. It will be documented on Braxton Family Values. Mm -hmm. So they will get a chance to see the They will get a the chance wedding. to see the yes. wedding on television, but you have to watch Braxton County values this year. And I'm actually hoping some people don't RSVP because, do you remember we were talking earlier about, uh -oh. Oh, no, this is real talk. Do you know when you're talking earlier about spending too much during the holidays? Yeah. You can spend too much during a wedding. Yes, yeah. you can. And the one yes. thing that I don't want to have happen, I don't want to meet someone for the first time at my wedding. I know because that. I think it's too intimate a situation. It is. To go saying, hey, thank you for coming to my wedding. What is your name? Mm, I'm sorry. sorry. I have a small problem with yeah. that. As you should. Yes, yeah. as well you should. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and weddings, you got to watch the people, too. They charge you a, a million dollars for flowers. Yes. Yeah, they do. Because they know it's an emergency. <laughs> it's, it's flowers. An, they do. It's because it's an, um, an emotional yeah. purchase. Yeah. And so they know that, you yes. know? So you be careful, too. Girl, because, yeah. you know, I'm all emotional. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, the next right one now. is from Kyle Coleman. <laughs> 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 and he said, say, say that you wasn't famous, but you wanted to be famous, and you almost 40. <laughs> Would you give up and go in another direction, or you keep giving life to your dream? Oh. Well, can I answer that? Yes. Kyle, what you trying to do? Are you trying to rap? Don't tell me you're trying to be out here rapping now. 40 years, are you trying to rap or what you're trying to do? I need a little bit more information on right. that to see exactly what it is he's trying to yeah, do. Because it, what is your definition of famous? Right. Yes, because yeah. it could be Instagram famous. It could be you're on TV. It could be famous at your corporate job. But I think, and, and I know I was joking reading the question, it's never too late because yeah. when I did, I, got, I talked to you guys about interviewing Octavia Spencer, and mm -hmm. one of one of the questions was very similar to you know what would you tell an aspiring actor or showrunner, people who write. She said, "Let me tell y'all, I did not make it until I was 42." Yeah. She got her biggest <laughs> role at 42, although she said my overnight success was 10 to 15 years. What type of work you putting in, Kyle? Yeah, Are you doing what true. you need to do to get where you need to be? That's true, too. But it's never true. Samuel Jackson didn't get his first major yep, breakthrough he until later too. in life. Yep. So you just never know when your time is going yeah. to be. So mm -hmm. I said, whatever it is. But he said he wanted to change the direction of his career. That le leads me to believe that he hasn't even new. started yet. But yeah. it could still happen. Do you remember the young lady? Well, she was older at the time, and she did the um, the America's Got Talent, or one of those, oh, one of yeah, those shows. Oh, yeah, the older white woman. Yeah, from like, and then she did that dream, the dream, the dream. And then she had, like, overnight success. Yes. I'm just saying it can happen. It definitely yeah. can happen. Keep keep doing your thing, man. All right, well, here's another question from us from Cecily Matthews. Says uh, she wants to know, since you work in an environment that is critical of right. your appearance, how do we deal with it in keeping our self-confidence intact? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's me. Well, you know, I'll <laughs> go with that one. Um, before Sister Circle, you're a recording artist. So you're always, you know, as an artist, as a person that sells yourself as a marketing tool. I mean, right. it, it is what it is. You are the actual thing that you're selling. You're the product. You're, putting, you're the product. You're putting yourself in a predicament where people get to judge you and you can't really say nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, what you have to do, well, what I had to do, because everybody's different, I had to just understand the reality, what's reality and what's not. Mm -hmm. What's my job and what's my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was about increasing on my self-love and decreasing on other people's opinions. Mm. I love that. Um, liking me at home by myself down to the mirror with none of this on. Mm -hmm. That's how you get real comfortable with yourself. And being out, like anybody that knows me knows, this come off so fast. Very when I tell you the shoes come flip up off in the world and lashes. I go right lashes and all that. See, I'm very um, transparent with being just Selena all the way down. So. For me, it was just about loving and being comfortable with myself, and that way I can handle whatever opinions that people have, because that's just what they are as opinions. Well, I was just talking about how that wine got this part right here, uh -oh. a little fluffy. Uh -oh. So I'm always talking to, to myself about myself to try to better myself. So it's a constant mm -hmm. oh, it's not struggle. Easy. Yeah. But, you know, I went to the gym this morning, because I'm like, sis, we got work to do. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I feel like I have work to do. And so I have to constantly say, you're on TV. 
Yeah. You don't want to put that yeah. bread down? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but you know, what, what you feed yourself is not always what you put into your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's what you say to yourself mm, every day. Good. Come on, Trina, with that word. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit the people oh with a word. <laughs> on, the, on the exit. Well, at the edge, 4555 has a very important question. She wants to know, are nylon and slips no longer in style? My nylon. girlfriends and I have been debating this topic. Basically, what she's saying is stockings nylon. and slips. Girls, you know, oh, like, is that in style? Stockings and slips. Stock <laughs> You know how you used yeah, to do that to the church? Pantyhose. No, no, it's a no. no. It's a, it's a, no. It's a, it's a show. Wait, pantyhose. No. Now, you can stock you all of our, look, but all the of our sororities, though, they want you to have them stockings on in certain situations. Yeah, man, yeah, you got to wear them stockings. I guess it depends on where you're going. If I'm going down to chapter meet, I got on stockings. Yeah. yeah. Don't wear shorts and stockings. Yeah. I still don't wear no stockings. We got to take a break. <laughs>